and all is right with the world once again. So you might notice I have this little bit of like shiny material with me that I don't usually. Basically the R value on this Nemo switchback is reasonable for summer, but on, uh, you know, shoulder season, it gets a little bit iffy. Uh, for example, on the Condor Trail, I ended up being cold because the cold will actually come up through the bottom of the pad from the ground if the ground is frozen. Same thing happened on the PCT. So this is just something light that adds a little bit more insulation, and I don't feel really bad if I end up tossing it in, you know, another 50 miles or so. It's basically been an ongoing process trying to kind of come to terms with the new uh, thermal reality I'm living with in the aftermath of the whole like COVID noro infection at the end of the CDT. I did go to my doctor. I got a blood test, talked things over with him. And basically the only thing that he did was put me on a B12 supplement, which eh, I'm trying it, but <laughs> even aside from the COVID noro thing I dealt with at the end of last year, uh, health after a through hike is one of those things that you see a lot of uh, internet experts uh, commenting on uh, these last couple of years. There was a eh, maybe slightly questionable article published on, I think, Outside Online, um, source of several questionable articles when it comes to this sort of thing. And uh, basically somebody did a through hike, came off, went to their doctor, and the doctor said their entire body was inflamed and they were in horrible shape, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I find it interesting because at this point, you know, I've had three years out here and so I've had three off trail transitions and the first one I could barely walk for several weeks after. Second one, uh, I, I was basically fine. My mother was even commenting on, oh, wow, you don't seem like you did anything major. <laughs> and the third one, I mean, I, I had other issues. It was more just like full body exhaustion after the second viral thing hit me. Um, but I was not, you know, super inflamed, unable to walk, anything else like that. I am actually really curious. I don't know if it's just I wasn't pushing as hard at the end of the ECT versus the PCT, uh, or if it's just you get better after like the first through hike. Uh, I, I do have a whole thing I was hoping to get recorded and like edited talking about um, why the second through hike is actually really, really hard. Because basically, you ever seen that confidence graph versus experience where, okay, first through hike, right? Your uh, experience confidence go way up. And then basically, at least for me, started the second through hike and all of a sudden I realized I actually didn't know that much. And especially going like PCT to AT, there's a lot of changes as far as gear conditions and things. And then slowly after that, you gain experience and confidence. I'm sure I'll be confident and experienced at some point here. Maybe the fourth through hike. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the fourth through hike. Maybe the fifth through hike. A while back, I was joking with Jenga that we were going to get like patches that said, team, just not good at this. This past off season uh, was the worst of them for me. I'm not fully sure why. I mean, obviously I came off, I was sick. I'd, uh, you know, failed to meet all my goals on the CDT. So that's a big part of it. Also, I couldn't do anything for like a month and a half until my body recovered from that little uh, viral double whammy. And even once I was recovered, we have had endless atmospheric rivers, major rainstorms hitting Southern California. So I wasn't able to dive. I had to spend a lot of time sitting around in the campground in the van, kind of like managing the leaks and the other things that happen when you have a conversion van. <laughs> and just another Saturday night where it's freaking hailing on us <laughs> in San Clemente. <laughs> I, I think this is one of the horses of the apocalypse, Blondie. So, yeah, this has been the worst for me. Oh, and also the wilderness class, which I always really look forward to, was just a bundle of stress as the weather became so extreme. We were having to, like, move outings, talk about rescheduling outings, cancel snow camp because, you know, the entire east side of the Sierra ended up shutting down due to snow, avalanche, and floods. <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite happy to be back out here. So I don't know if it's just how rough the off-trail period was this year or the fact that I know I'm going to see her in a couple of weeks, but there wasn't nearly the kind of melancholy transition day that I usually have when I start out solo after uh, Jen drops me off. It's been really nice so far. Dragged a little bit, but I, you know, it, I did a decent day, 18 miles yesterday, and I was enjoying it. Normally when it's dragging, like the days feel really long, it's just having to get into the right headspace where I'm not constantly thinking about, oh, I have to get to here or worrying about things off trail. I just kind of come out here and exist for a couple of months. So it is looking like another lovely day. However, 
rumor has it that the next storm is going to sweep in uh, Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So yesterday, I think I ran across maybe 15-ish people, all told. Some of them look kind of trail-worn. At least one just uh, finished the Florida Trail and was coming over here. And some were visibly very, very new at this, looking like gypsies with, you know, gear and solar panels hanging out in every direction. About a third of those people were going southbound, just doing sections from what they said, one of those that I talked to. There's basically been plenty of water the entire way so far, except for that one period where I kind of wanted water because I wanted to stop a little earlier. Figures, huh? Just came up behind two guys that looked like they knew what they were doing. Then I noticed one of them had a uh, PCT 2020 bandana. Turns out it was Harry Potter, fellow uh, PCT 2020 alumni from the uh, COVID year. Just pulled a weather report and looks like the rain's gonna hit more on Wednesday. Though it is gonna be blistery for a couple of days. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of rain coming down with 30 mile an hour winds, huh? Sitting here in a bit of windstorm trying to get the first episode uploaded because I finally got decent bars. Just found a pretty major water cache here in this uh, bear box, but really don't need it. There's been plenty of water to filter. And since I am in overcast conditions here, I'm not going through all that much. And as much as, as it bothers me to stop while there's still daylight, I think this is going to be my uh, evening water. Not too bad, huh? I passed up a decent campsite by the water source. Out of precaution, I know there's people behind, didn't want my campsite jump, stuff like that. Unfortunately, I seem to be in a windswept cow field, and all these brown branches you see around are actually like cat's claw. They'll uh, bloody up pretty bad if you try and uh, bushwhack out something that looks like a campsite. I know from experience. So I've done my 15. I have water for the night. I'm basically just trying to find a campsite up to my standards. Preferably sooner rather than later. <laughs> Unfortunately, these uh, fence bypasses tend to be a little on the narrow side. Hey, not for me, for my back. I spend the entire day walking by more campsites than one could ever want, and then end of the day. Found a campsite, not in an exclusion zone, and wouldn't you know it, two people already there. So there have been a couple of options like this. However, the amount of uh, cow droppings has me going, uh, maybe around the next corner. And yet another. And another occupied one. Okay, well, I'm pretty much in the middle of a cow field, but uh, not too many droppings, so I think I'm gonna call this Home sweet home for the night. I'm beat. And it looks like it turned into another 18 mile day. <laughs> Thanks to uh, the last five people or so I saw camped. So much for this being one of those uh, uh, trails you don't see anybody else on. Huh? Home sweet home for the night.